Okay, good morning once again guys. So this is our fifth video for this quarter. So we are now in our learning guide uh, 11.0 and I think this is the easiest uh, learning guide for this second quarter because we are going to study only one uh, keyword or one topic that is using instance of. Okay, so by the end of this learning guide, you will be able to understand what is the significance of instance of function and how to use instance of function in a Java program. And another one is we are going to determine if a child class is inherited from a parent class. Okay, so we are going to use one on the function that is instance of. So the learning that is very self-explanatory in this topic, okay. So I think we can go over with this. Allow me to scroll over. Hey, there you go. So this is good for 30 minutes, but I think uh, 5 minutes is enough. Okay, so this is instance of. How to implement instance of program? So in case A, we have to check instance of with inheritance. So in, in our previous discussion or video, uh, we discussed the inheritance concept, right? We're in, you have here the parent class, and we have here our subclass. Okay, so in this example, number one, class that, is, class that is our parent class, and class son is our subclass. Therefore, son inherits whatever characteristics or actions from that class. Okay, then using the instance of, okay, instance of, D. Okay, it's an object. Is it instance of or inherited from that um, class? So the return value is true, or it will display what true in your screen because instance of returns a boolean, okay? Returns a boolean value on the other two or it's gonna not just simply up to the guys on instance of. It's like in the second example, we have to check the instance of with inheritance. Okay, so the same example, class that is our parent class, class son is our subclass. Okay, then B is our B is null. Yan so dito na create ang object for that class. Then let's try to check. Is it instance of that ang B? The answer is false, right? Because hindi naman tayo na create ang object for class that. One thing more, halimbawa, uh, ano naman dito? Yung mga reference type variable, variable, okay? So, string word beside string number 12. Okay? Then, SOP. Okay? So, word is, is it instance of a string? The answer is, diba? Kasi ang beside ay string. And, now, is it instance of an integer? Then, the answer is, 2. Ayan, so ganyan lang guys ang paggagawa ng instance of. So what is actually the use of this pagdating ng uh, implementation sa OOP? Okay, guys ito ay ginagamit lang natin pag meron tayong mga ano na, yun sa so, mga implementation of timer, yung mga ganun. Okay, sa so, mga fourth quarter siguro and third quarter. Okay, para sa pagsisynchronize ng mga ano natin, ng mga objects natin. So ayan, so guys ganyan lang kasi po ang instance of. Okay, for the topic 11.0 um, And from this uh, video So our next video ay mag-start na tayo sa window AWP or the abstract window toolkit Okay, so ang output na natin ay It's more on the window environment Wala na tayo sa console, okay? So yun lang ang ating topic for today And with that Bye-bye, guys.